Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another doll haul. I am so, so excited today for the dolls that we have to get into. They are all Barbies. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna title this video like a vintage Barbie doll haul. I don't know 100% that all of these dolls are technically vintage, but like I couldn't think of a better word. So I'm sorry if it's not technically correct, but they're all older Barbies that aren't currently like retail available today. And I'm really, really, really excited for all of them. A lot of these I have literally been waiting months for because I like to do these doll hauls when I have like enough to merit making a whole video about them. <laughs> so I had a few from months ago and I just literally today, like 20 minutes ago, got the last one and I was so excited that I immediately had to sit down. I've already filmed a video today and I immediately sat down to do this one because I was so excited. <laughs> so I do hope that you guys are also excited to get into these dolls with me. I know they're not like the most relevant. I say that in all of my older doll haul videos just because, I don't know, I feel like a lot of times people like super relevant like new reviews but i want to unbox some older dolls with you guys today so if you do enjoy that if you could give the video a like it's very helpful and if you're new here and you enjoy your time maybe subscribe for more but with that let me show you the dolls that we have to get through today so the first is the fairy of the forest so so pretty i want to say the other one that i have is the fairy of the garden i know her she's like right past the camera like i'm looking at her <laughs> I just can't remember. I'm pretty sure that was the garden fairy, but this is, I believe, from the same line except the fairy of the forest. She's so beautiful. I love fairies, so I'm really, really excited about that. She has a little poem on the back of her box that I think is the same poem that was on the back of the other fairy's box from my last doll haul. But yes, managed to find her very excited. Her wings are beautiful, so I'm really, really eager to get into her. They are also all in box, all the dolls today, so like... It's really exciting. This next one I did not expect to get, but it's the Ganyan Barbie. And she's so cute. <laughs> this one still has the price tag on her. I literally was just like at the store looking to see what they had. And I found her and I wasn't looking for her, wasn't expecting to buy her. But for $8, she's so pretty. Like, she's just so cute. Uh, I believe she's from, yeah, the Dolls of the World collection. If you've seen these doll hauls that I've done before, I collect a lot of the Dolls of the World Princess Edition Barbies. This is not a Princess Edition, just like... A regular Dolls of the World Barbie but she's also so pretty and then on the back here is a lot of information about Ghana. I do love that there's information on back suites. I say that every time but I just thought she was so beautiful so I had to snack her and then we have the Morning Sun Princess Barbie. I don't feel like I need to say anything else. Like she's so pretty. This was a series like a set of three the other two I think are pretty, but they're just like not quite as nice to me. But the Sun Princess, look at this doll. Her box is like messed up on the bottom, so she keeps falling over. But I'm really excited to get her out of box. And then the one that arrived today, okay, technically this isn't a doll, but it's a playset, which is really big for me because if you guys have been here for a while you know that I'm not a playset person like I usually only buy dolls but I had this playset when I was a kid and I've been thinking about it for a long time and I just really wanted to get it again and get to have that joy again so oh my god this is the fabulous fountain pool playset I'm trying so hard not to cry I've almost cried like four times in the 20 minutes that it's been since this arrived at my front door I'm I'm so excited about this. I had this exact one when I was a kid and I don't have any dolls from my childhood except like my teenage collecting years, but my actual childhood, I don't have any dolls from. So to be able to rebuy this really meant a lot. And as you can see, it's in the box and you can't like see, but I doubt the camera is gonna be picking up that sound. It literally is sealed. Like this has never been opened. And I think this is from 1999. So the idea that it has literally never been opened and I get to open it is just so exciting, especially with it being one that I had as a kid. It means so much to me. I'm, I'm literally going to cry. It means so much to me that I got to open this as a kid and have that whole experience. And now I get to fully and completely relive that. I'm sorry for being so emotional, but this actually means a lot to me. Um, so I'm really excited to get into this one. I'm excited for all of them. But this one is going to be the grand finale at the end of the video because I am 
over the moon. Like, I am so happy about this one. So, with that weirdly emotional intro out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these off camera really quick, and then I will come back with you as though we're doing a proper review, even though we're just gonna be looking at some old dolls together. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so I got all the Barbies unboxed. We are doing like one at a time here so they can focus on each one and focus on how lovely they are individually. So the first one is the Morning Sun Princess Barbie. She did come with her little certificate of authenticity and then she is on a little saddle stand that I'm gonna slip out here. It is kind of hard because her dress is super tight but that way we can get a good look at her. I just wanted to like prove that she could be on her saddle stand. Uh, she does come with like little golden heels that are super cute but they do fall off very easily that's not a slight against this doll in particular that's just a pretty common issue with barbies so you know it is what it is i'll probably end up securing them with like a rubber band or something we'll have to see but here she is she's so pretty i love the makeup that they chose for her all of the gold all of the glitter it's very dramatic it's very fun her little headpiece super cool this barbie has such long hair like I just hit the camera but such long flowing hair it is absolutely amazing I love all of the gold jewelry that she's got on from the neck cuff and like the charm on there to the arm cuffs there is one slight problem though um on here you can kind of see the remnants of a band that degraded over time and it did happen on both sides it's worse on this side but you can see here too that it's kind of falling apart and it was supposed to connect this piece here to her armband so that it kind of flows nicely like this obviously that is not working right now because there was you know a little bit of damage just from the age and being in the box she's kind of rotted away with the it feels like a rubber band i don't know if it actually is but whatever it is definitely rotted away a little bit which is a shame but i'll be able to fix it it's not like the worst thing ever it just means you can't quite see the complete image here um but this part i think once i can get it fixed is going to be really really beautiful i love the fabric that they chose with this sheer and like the gold foil on there. It's super beautiful. It is gonna need a steam also. So I'll probably steam it and then just reattach like a different rubber band on there. But she's gonna be very majestic. And then the fabric for like the body of her dress. Oh my gosh, I love the texture of this. It's just so silky smooth. I love the shine that it gives off. I do like that she's in a tighter dress. I feel like a lot of Barbies that I own tend to be in like very big poofy dresses or kind of like A-line dresses. So she's not the only Barbie that I have that's in a tighter dress, but it's not the most common for me. And I do think that it's really, really beautiful. So that is the Morning Sun Princess Barbie. I'm trying to decide who to go for next. I think we'll look at the Fairy of the Forest. So the Fairy of the Forest also came with a certificate of authenticity. I have so many of these little certificates now from collecting these older Barbies and I have no idea where to go with them. But here she is. She's absolutely stunning. She also came with her own stand. So that'll be helpful when I get to display her. But look at the shine on her wings. Her wings are definitely my favorite part. Like, I just think they're so pretty. If you have seen my other um, kind of doll hauls, the Garden Fairy that I mentioned, her wings spewed glitter everywhere, like everywhere. These are much better, like I'm kind of rubbing it and it's really not coming off at all, which is awesome. I don't mind a lot of excess glitter, but I know for a lot of people that's a problem. So if you now know who she is or if you've known who she is and have been wanting her for a while, if you buy her, she probably won't get glitter everywhere, which is super cool. But I love her little headpiece. Her necklace is so pretty with the little beads on there. Her kind of like armbands are so beautiful. I love the fabric. My favorite part though is just the bottom of her dress. I feel like these fabrics are so pretty, like the silkiness, the shininess. Oh my gosh. And I love the uneven hem. She's got like a little cord wrapped around her ankles. So instead of shoes, she's just got this, which I do like. I think I've said this in videos before, but I like my fairies to be barefoot just because it seems, I don't know, more whimsical to me, I guess would be a good way to put it. I feel like her overall look though is just so so stunning her hair also really isn't bad at all like i definitely want to fix it up just because i kind of have 
a higher standard, I feel like, but it's not bad at all. And I do really, really love the face because I feel like it is just so soft. And I usually like really dramatic faces. Like I'm a fan of really intense makeup, but for the Forest Fairy, I feel like her having the really gentle face is super cute. So she is absolutely beautiful. The only thing is that there was some tape holding on the cords here and then also keeping her necklace like locked in position and it did leave a sticky residue in those places which to be fair is to be expected she's been in that box for years so like it makes sense it just means i have a little bit of cleaning to do but super super pretty and then last but definitely not least we have the ghanian barbie she came with a labeled sand it is just like a sticker on here and it is kind of peeling up at the edges i suspect again that is probably just due to age, it kind of happens. But it's cool that she has a stand that is labeled. She also came with this comb. She did not have a certificate of authenticity, but like, that's okay because she's honestly such a stunner. Like, she's so pretty. This face, look at her. I'm not always a fan of older Barbie faces. Like, they could be very hit or miss for me personally, but I feel like it works so well on her. Like, this particular face mold is so pretty. Her earrings do kind of like jiggle a little bit and then she has this necklace there is still a piece of string kind of keeping it in place but i could cut that if i wanted to the necklace is like completely mobile and the cloth is just so beautiful i think it's called kenta cloth it's so pretty and honestly so high quality like this is double layered and she has a whole separate piece in here i think they're sewn together but like the fact that there's so many layers on this doll and the pattern is just so beautiful. Like, she's so stunning. And then she also has a little gem glued here to be like a ring. And on this hand, she's got a bracelet. Oh, I just lost one of her shoes. My bad. I was going to show you the shoes. <laughs> okay. They're these little like gold kind of leathery, like faux leathery sandals. And I love these. I just think they're really fun. Ironically, I know I literally just dropped one, but they do stay on better than like the Sun Princess's shoes. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that they're really cute. And overall, I'm super impressed with her. Like the sheer quality of this doll is really remarkable to me. Like, okay, I, I do love the Fairy of the Forest, but you can see here, like this cloth doesn't extend all the way to the back. And then the back of the wings you would have seen earlier is just blank. They're kind of like sewn into the dress. It's fine. Like I'm not upset about it. But the fact that this is literally, like I said, it's double like cloth. It's not just one layer. It's two layers plus this piece, plus all of the jewelry is like loose and the shoes. I'm just astounded by the quality and I absolutely love it. I didn't even touch on her turban. Her turban is so beautiful. I don't know what her hair looks like underneath, but we're not going to find out because this is perfect. Like, she's so pretty, and I always get really bittersweet in these videos because it is sad to me that, like, this isn't really what we get out of Barbie now, but I'm glad that at least secondhand I can experience this. So, those were the three, like, actual dolls. Now I have to set up the pool so that I can then show you, so I will be right back. Okay, the pool has been assembled. It is almost too big for my whole table. My background is clinging on for dear life, but I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy to have this again. Um, I did realize though that I don't have any swimsuit Barbies. So Draculaura is over here in the corner. She's going to help us out today because I felt like that was the best scale probably that like I had that had a swimsuit. Cause like I have the rainbow high swimsuit dolls, but, or the Pacific coast dolls. But those would be a little off, I feel like. So, um, yeah, now I feel like I need to get a swim Barbie to go with this. But it's just so cool. Oh, my God. Okay, so first we have a little potted plant. Very, very cute. And then we have a couple of drinks. I remember these and this plate of sandwiches both very, very vividly from my childhood. The plate is, like, kind of bendy. I don't know. It's just fun. There's no reason for me to be like that excited about it, but I am. Um, and then we have a little <laughs> pink towel. Very, very cute. It's all exciting, but obviously the pool is like the best part. And I, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to move the plant out of the way. It's just so fun. I, okay, hold on. I'm going to pick you guys up for a second. Sorry if I sound really flustered. I just like am so excited. So first of all, 
we have the water in here. It took so much water to fill up. And the bottom is like actual malleable plastic. Like it's like pool plastic, which I have always loved. And that's why I really wanted to buy this playset again, specifically. Obviously I did have it when I was a kid. So like there's that. But I think the reason I loved it so much as a kid is because I loved this plastic and it's just really, really fun. We do have like the little slide here, the ladder over by Draculaura. And then I do have a glass of water off camera here to show off the fountain effects. So you can see one like input over here and then there's another one that outputs here. So if you pour water into here, It's, oh, I just spilled. It streams out. I got a little overexcited. But isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm too excited. And then the other thing that happens, I'm gonna have to like raise this just a smidge so you guys can really see. Actually, I need both hands. Uh, this part of the video is gonna be a mess. I'm so sorry. I'm just too excited. Okay, so see this top portion? There's another reservoir back here that's full of water. And on the side, I don't wanna knock over my cup of water. Over here, there's a little lever on the back so I can pull up the lever and it fountains even more. That's why it's the fabulous fountain pool playset. I don't know why I'm this excited. I don't know why I'm so thrilled about this, but like, it's just super cute. <laughs> I just love everything about it. Um, so I feel like I can't initiate this without Draculaura going for a little swim. So we're just gonna like put her through here. She's just gonna get stuck on the slide, that's fine. But like, you can have a Barbie or whatever doll you want chilling on the slide, but she can slide on down in. And it's just, it's just so cute. She can just chill out by the pool. Look at this vibes, look at this vibes. Ah, ah. I feel like uh, I'm not doing my job and narrating the video very well, but I'm honestly just so excited about this, I want, like at least three other swim dolls so that I can put them all in here and they can all just have a lovely time in the pool. Quick interlude here. I had shot some extra video of Draculaura hanging out in the pool and some of the details of the pool and I just wanted to show it off. Also, sorry if my voice sounds really weird right now. I am doing this voiceover after getting my tooth pulled and I haven't adjusted, so enjoy. I'm so emotional. I said at the beginning of the video that if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I don't really go for play sets. Like I'm not a play set person. That's just not my cup of tea typically, but I love this one. And I feel like it says so much that I like it enough to where I wanted to have it again, because the only other play set that I own is the freak to chic play set for monster high. And that one's in storage. Like I'm going to have to find a way to store this until we can move ever and then I'm gonna display it because it's so cute and so fun and sorry I'm like about to cry <laughs> I don't know why I'm so emotional but it's really exciting for me to buy old dolls that I had as a kid and I think like to buy the playset as well is just really evoking an emotion in me so <laughs> i'm obviously very happy i've had a lovely day filming this and getting all of these dolls unboxed i'm gonna go ahead and restore a couple of them the sun goddess definitely needs the most work but i'll probably wash the forest fairy's hair and yeah i'm just gonna chill out and um find a way to display some dolls in this pool because i am super excited so even though this wasn't super relevant i do hope that you guys could enjoy uh, i hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and i will catch you in the next one bye guys